Welcome to Evan Wright's Cars Video Reviews. Uh, my name is Evan. Today I will be reviewing the 2017 Mitsubishi Mirage G4 Sedan. Uh, the G4 Sedan is what you get when you take the Mitsubishi Mirage hatch, uh, extend the wheelbase, and stick a trunk on the back. What that means, it has the same uh, 78 horsepower three-cylinder engine as the, uh, the hatchback. It has the continuously variable transmission. Uh, it has front disc brakes, rear drums, 15-inch alloys, uh, my SEL test model, more than enough tire for this size of a car. They're 175, uh, 55, 15s. They're actually really, uh, they're not only really cheap uh, for a tire that small, but uh, they offer what it, it's a 2200 pound car, they offer a reasonable amount of grip. It's, uh, it's actually a little bit refreshing. Um, this, this is a small car. It's a it's same size as an Accent, for example. But it's actually got class leading rear seat, rear leg room. Um, as you can see, I can actually sit, uh, sit by myself. Um, and even sit beside myself with, uh, you know, like I said, a great deal of room, uh, which is fairly unusual in a car this size. Trunks, uh, nice and large as well. Uh, this car is the SEL trim. It's fairly well equipped. It's got heated seats, which is quite a surprise. It's got Bluetooth. It's got uh, a color display touchscreen with uh, CarPlay and uh, Sorry, Apple CarPlay and Android Autos it has a backup camera, which is again pretty rare in the class. And you know, it's a small car, it's got a very high greenhouse, it's really easy to see out of, but a backup camera is still a pretty popular feature these days, and it's something that's nice to have. I mean, it's a cheap car, there's no two ways around that. Uh, you can tell by the you know, the dashboard plastics are rock hard. Pretty big echo going on up in the, there's not a lot of insulation in the roof. If you look under the hood, it's largely unpainted, it's just primed. But uh, this SEL, with all the things I mentioned, with all that equipment, stickers for 18200 up here in Canada. And I think it's on sale right now for $17,048, which is about as cheap as you're ever going to find a sedan. And you can't argue it. This car has a surprisingly good ride. It's a, it's a, it's a compact car. It's, it doesn't weigh anything. It's got small tires. They tend to not ride well. Um, this car soaks up some surprisingly big bumps and some surprisingly big potholes quite well. That doesn't mean that it handles well. <laughs> uh, it's great on those bumps if you're in a straight line. It's great on those bumps if you're downtown, if you hit a speed bump in the city. No problem. You, you, you'll barely even notice it. But if you hit a bump on a twisty road like this, it's a completely different story. At that point, it starts to feel like the car's got independent suspension, and by that I mean that every tire, every wheel was tuned, every corner was tuned by a, a different group of people working independently. Uh, you'll probably hear me say that uh, if you watch the track video, but uh, you know, it really... Uh, it is unfortunate. Uh, it feels like this car is a decent set of springs and dampers away from actually handling surprisingly well. Um, it does understeer the limit, of course. The tires howl and it, it just pushes. But, uh, you know, it's a small, cheap car. That's what it does. With 78 horsepower, it's not a rocket. It doesn't accelerate quickly. It's not going to... You're not going to win any drag races. But 2,200 pounds. 78 horsepower is 79 horsepower is enough. Um, you can keep up with traffic, no problem. You can merge, no problem. You can pass people. If you're an enthusiast, if you're looking for something, you know, if you've been considering other compacts like a Fiesta ST or a Fiesta EcoBoost or you know anything with any sporting intentions at all, you're probably not going to like this car. I'll be I'll be straightforward. Um, it's a lot of fun when you're just driving around. Not fun. It's okay when you're just driving around. 
you know, it's not great, but it, it's good at driving around. It's good in the city, it's good on the highway. The extended wheelbase is actually an improvement in high-speed stability. It, it does feel good on the highway, even in, even in a breeze, uh, quite strong. But again, it's not a car that handles. It's not a car you're gonna use for carving apexes. If you're an enthusiast, this isn't the one you're gonna want. But if you're someone who wants the 10-year warranty Mitsubishi offers, if you're, if you're someone who wants a car that's going to get good fuel economy, I get, I've been averaging 6.1 liters per hundred kilometers, so just a hair under 40 miles per gallon, which is a pretty good number. The car does have a very small tank. Uh, I'm going about 400 kilometers between fill-ups. Uh, I'm filling it up with less than 100 left on the range. That's a lot of trips to the gas station, but they're not expensive trips to the gas station. We're talking 25 liters. Uh, what's that? Six gallons? If that, it's not a lot. Of if you are driving this car around in the city, it is surprisingly peppy, especially in that zero to 30 kilometers an hour, you know, ducking around cars, uh, getting away from traffic lights, finding a gap in, in the next lane. It's quite good at that. It has a shockingly uh, tight turning circle. I believe. Uh, I believe it said it's 10 meters. You can almost turn around on a on a two-lane road. You can almost do a U-turn on a two-lane road. Uh, you can for sure if you use the shoulder, which is really handy when you're parking. It's really handy when you're parking a lot. It's really handy when you're anywhere where the roads are, are tight or narrow or in a city. The seats in the are uh, the seats in the Mirage G4 are very flat. They're comfortable, but they are very flat. There's no bolstering. There's no center armrest. And what that means is if you are turning hard, then there's not much holding you in there. Uh, I've spent a great deal of time either leaning on the door, uh, which is not exactly padded, or uh, with the seatbelt buckle, you know, pushing into my hip because you have to lean on something, otherwise you're gonna fall out. So another thing with the CVT tuning in this car, in that the, uh, the peak horsepower arrives at 6,000 RPM according to Mitsubishi's uh, specifications, but the CVT will not let the engine rev to over about 5,600. Um, and I tested that out on a long hill on ramp. I tried putting it in drive, I put it driving it in DS, I tried putting it in L, both of which will generally raise the RPM, but it wouldn't go above 5,600, even you know, accelerated amps at a highway speed of 110 kilometers an hour. It, uh, so you never, well, the CVT makes, the, the CVT equipped engine generates 78 horsepower. You never actually get to use quite all of them. Now you're not using a lot, most likely, but uh, you're not getting the full deal. Uh, the manual transmission may uh, alleviate that problem, but you can't get it with the better equipped one. If you, so that sums up the Mitsubishi Mirage G4. If you want a compact car with lots of rear space, excellent fuel economy and a warranty that will outlast your loan at the lowest possible price, this is your car. If you want a car that's going to handle well, if you want a car with a lot of power, if you want a car with a soft touch dash, this is not your car. You'll see some articles and some reviews that, that really, really tear this car up and I, I think a lot of that is based on the, the older, the hatchback, which was revised for 2017 along with the introduction of the sedan, and the new car is not a lot better. You know, it's not hugely changed, but it is better. Or at least, I, you know, I've driven both, and I, I, I think it's better. But this is a case of, you, know, you, you get what you're paying for. If you want all the extra stuff, you're gonna pay more money care what the dash feels like and how often do you test the dash, then this is probably more up your alley. So if you like my video, uh, please hit like, uh, leave hit your thoughts in the comments. Um, if you want to see
see more of my videos, hit subscribe, or you can see the playlist that comes up. Hopefully, if you do. And we'll see you next time on the Heaven Rights Cars uh, video.